Okay, I can't do this on my flip cam for some reason. I have no idea why, so let's go to the phone. Okay, here I am addressing my uh, my ex Jehovah's Witness brethren and sisterin, sisterin. I don't know. I just had some thoughts. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't even know if I. Oh, that's my my evil pagan cross in the background. <laughs> Governing body. Oh, I, I want to do it so bad. I just want to just... Uh... Mm. Mm. You're not getting the thumbs up, that's for sure. Well, I've got my Statue of Liberty with me. <laughs> my pillow. In my tiny little room. The thing about the cross, though, I'm not Catholic. I don't belong to any kind of denomination, and I, I, I don't have any ex-Jehovah's Witness people. It's it's nice to have people to talk to on the Internet, but it's just, we are social creatures. You know, we are not self-contained units. It's not natural for us to be in solitary confinement. One individual, uh, I, you know, he's, uh, I don't know, he ended up becoming a drug addict and then he became a drug counselor, one of those certified drug counselors. And, uh, you know, he was, um, he was a smoker and, um, he ended up dying of cancer. He was only 50. He's beautiful. And his sister uh, took a very wrong path, I'll say, and she died under mysterious circumstances. She's gone. And I look back, and um, one of their sisters uh, took a path that she shouldn't have. And she's just lost. You know, she just, um, her parents, uh, used to keep them caged in the house, you know, keep them in the house like caged animals to avoid worldly people. The other sister, she just did what I did and got the hell out of Massachusetts. She went to the other side of the country. She moved to Nevada and she's made a nice life for herself and, uh, you know, and the remaining sister, you know, still here, I, she just, uh, just does what she does to get by, you know, these Jehovah's Witnesses that don't know the truth about the truth. Yeah, them. Okay, well, it turns out the phone is the thing that didn't work out so well, and that's my ex-Jehovah's Witness community community. They are all broken and beaten and I'm trying my best to not end up there. You know, some of you know, you know, my circumstance and a lot of us ex Jehovah's Witnesses, we do everything that we can, you know, after we've been disfellowshipped or become apostates or whatever disassociated you know, we do everything we can to not have to go back to the environment that made us sick in the first place. And I left 20 years ago and that I'm back here because of circumstances is just blowing my mind because I did all the right things. You know, I'm proud of my daughter. You know, she will be graduating university soon. She almost, she's two courses away from her bachelor's degree. And my son, he's on the Honor Society, and he is also, uh, he passed the test for, for nursing school, and he'll be going to a uh, nursing school to become an RN. And that was possible because we got the hell out of this town 
and we, you know, no watchtower. My, my kids were not poisoned. They don't have watchtower tentacles in but them. But I guess, I don't know, I, I didn't want to write a post this time. I just wanted to talk. And, you know, you guys who have ex Jehovah's Witnesses in your, um, in your community, you know, you get to go to the meetups and, you know, you have the resources to travel and to do that. And it's like, I, there's nothing here. Um, it would be so nice to have that experience, but the Jehovah's Witnesses in, in this town, so-called city, I mean, it just, uh, most of them have disappeared. Most of them have, di most of them have disappeared, and, you know, this town is not a very aggressive place anyway. I mean, people who, you know, have ideas and dreams and goals, and you know, they don't stay here. They leave. <laughs> and I, I did that, too. And, you know, because of a uh, brush with some very bad luck, you know, I ended up having to come back here. You know, it's silent. There's no discussion unless, there's absolute, unless it's absolutely necessary. Um, you know, for a lot of reasons. You know, abuse, past abuse, um, denial, enabling, it, it just... Uh, just what you would expect from, you know, a nice, healthy Jehovah's Witness family. <sighs> yeah. So, my friends are all strung out or dead. We haven't gotten one of those, um, I, well, I have no idea because, like I said, we only speak when it's absolutely necessary. So if they've been around here trying to reel her back to the Kingdom Hall, I, I have no idea. I'm in this tiny little room, tiny little room, and I'm used to having so much synchronicity in my life, and that dynamic just died one day. It just closed, and in the two years that I've been stuck here, yes, I have walked through part two of my awakening to Watchtower. Because when I woke up back in the 80s, it was about the false prophecies, it was about the back and forth changes and all of that. But this time, all these years later, starting in 2014, I didn't know about the hedge funds. I didn't know about the subliminal images in the literature. I didn't know that these guys were high-level Freemasons. I didn't know what Freemasons did until I did some research and... I listened to information from ex-high-level Freemasons who tell you the things that they had to do to rise to those levels. I didn't know about the... I mean, I knew about the... I found out about the pedophilia, but I didn't know that they were harboring them, that they were hiding them. I didn't know. It just... I got away from it. You know, I was focused on you know, my children and focused on trying to make my life work and avoid having to come back here. And that didn't work out so well. And facing what Freemasonry is, high-level Freemasonry, the uh, learning that, you know, Charles Taze Russell died during some ritual on Halloween night. You know, they found him naked in, in some type of Freemason garb, you know, something like over his eye and one over his shoulder or whatever. You know, uh, doing um, occult shit <laughs> that uh, they told us was evil. And then there he was, you know. And did you know that his cousin is Bertrand Russell, founder of the Skull and Bone Society? That was a nice news flash too. And then coming to the realization that you know basically those guys at uh, in, in the governing body and the guys that you know six uh, before them, you know starting with Russell, continuing on with Rutherford, who 
uh, had fun, you know, writing love letters to uh, Adolf Hitler, and they were into the same stuff. They were into the same occult stuff. You know, they learn. I, I learned that they, they know how to, what they learn in those secret societies is how to manipulate the human mind. They, they learn psychology, but they learn it to cause harm on the emotional, the psychological, the um, spiritual level. I know that a lot of you guys are atheists and everything, and that's fine, but, you know, there's a lot of things we can't understand that we can't, you know, really... Uh, we, we don't know everything. But how did Hitler create something so evil? How did Rutherford do the exact same thing? I'm going off on a tangent. I'm going way off on a tangent. But, yeah, all my XJ-Dub homies are gone. <laughs> Just There's nobody. And I'm, like, in this thing alone. And it gets to the point where I, I won't leave my room for days. I've been in places where I haven't left. I, I've stayed in bed for days. You know, my dream, my goal was to help people, you know, to get healthy, to get fit, to um, assist them, you know, to get into coaching or something. And I don't mean to be, you know, whining or complaining, you know, I'm a solution solutions-oriented person because I couldn't have left. I mean, if you look at my Facebook page and you look through the... You, you see my life, you know, you see, you know, me traveling with my kids and, you know, getting out and, you know, you see their lives. I'm waiting for a door to open, you know, so that I don't sink completely into the quicksand. But it's nice to be on here and to actually be speaking to people. I've, I joined groups uh, as far back as 2010, and I did not get the um, reception that I've gotten, you know, with this particular group. And I guess this is as good as it gets, you know, uh, talking to people through the computer. <laughs> anyway, you guys uh, have a great day, and... Um, I know this has been a rant, but uh, I just felt the need to share, and I didn't want to write a big, long post, so here I am. <laughs>